the 16th hole, par 4. Precision over power is most important on this target golf hole. This is a, uh, the 16th hole is a short dog leg left, uh, par four. And uh, we extended the tees and we took the back tee and moved it further back. Um, we also added bunkers out uh, at the corner of the dog leg, making it almost impossible to cut the corner over the trees with your tee shot. Um, although from the tee it may look uh, overwhelming, there's plenty of room out there for a well-struck tee shot. Uh, standing on the tee, the obviously obvious way to play the hole is to the right, right of the fairway bunkers that you see on the left side out. Personally, I don't think it's worth the risk, but uh, it's an option and it's fun. Um, and the, the green here is very small, so you really need to be in the fairway uh, for, for an easier second shot. If this is a hole that requires precision, so I have to go over these trees, which isn't a huge deal, but if I hit a tee shot, if I hit it here, I've either hit the wrong club or I haven't hit it solid. I hit it on the exact same line another 25 yards and I've got it wide open. So it, that just kind of goes to show the precision that required on the shot. The, uh, the 16th green is a slightly smaller green and uh, it's what we call a plateau style of green. The, Green is surrounded by bunkers, making the approach shot, a precise approach shot, very, very important. There are some undulations which divide the green into smaller sections. So to make a par birdie, you have to hit the ball into the proper part of the green. Uh, you know, this hole is sectioned off into three distinct sections. The fr front, front left and front right are kind of subtle. The back is pretty pronounced. Um, again, the hole's all about precision. If you want, if you want to hit uh, have a putt that you can make, you need to hit it in the, in the right portion of the green. The 18th hole, par 5. A dramatic finishing hole where matches were won well and lost. I think the 18th hole at Mirasaki could be one of the most um, talked about finishing holes in Japan. It's a very dramatic finishing hole. It starts with a tee shot uh, that comes between a, out of a shoot of trees. Uh, we took the back tee and extended it further back, but uh, we also put in uh, three fairway bunkers in almost a triangular pattern in the fairway two fairway bunkers on the right, one on the left. So it's very, very important that the players uh, hit the ball in the fairway to get off to a good start on this hole. Well, the fairway is not small. Uh, if you miss it, you're in a bunker. And uh, the best layup, if you can see, there's a tree in the center of the fairway about 100 yards from the green. The best layup is to the right of that. It's a harder shot. You've got to fit it between a grove of trees on the right. Uh, that'll leave you a much easier third shot, or you can take the easy second shot and have to shoot across a bunker towards the water. Um, you know, and if you're going at the green in two, if you miss it to the right, there's a really good chance it's going to go in the water. So there's a lot of things that can happen on this hole. Yeah. It will, it, it will lead for a fun and exciting finish. The heart and soul of the 18th hole really lies in the second and third shots to the green. Depending on how a player approaches the green with either second or third shot, um, they're going to have some different results. We have a, if you come in from the right, we have a long swale approaching the green and it gives you the best angle because the green slopes from left to right towards the lake. If the player decides to come in from the left side of the fairway, they're going to have to contend with that green falling away from them and hit a very precise shot so that they don't, uh, they don't end up in the lake. If you can't reach the green from here, you've got a lot of options. Um, 
there, there's, you can see the flag. Just to the right of the green, it goes down a slope into the water. So it's a dangerous shot to try. It's a lot of risk, there's a lot of reward. And if you bail out to the left, that bunker is pretty deep and you're aiming right at the water from that bunker. So it's a difficult shot. Um, if you want to lay it up, the best layup is to the right of this tree that you see in front of us. And then you're just pitching right up the green. So you have a lot of choices on what to do from here. And depending on how much risk you're willing to take, uh, there is a lot of reward to, for pulling off a good shot, but there's a lot of punishment for not. We thought about all different types of players who would come to the Sumari course to play. And the remodeling uh, effort was focused on women, beginners, seniors, as well as uh, advanced players. Um, the placement of every tee, the placement of every bunker, the shape and design of every green was well thought out to accommodate and to make the round of, of golf enjoyable for all of those different skill levels of golfers. Um, so, people coming out to play golf, they play the right tee, think about every shot, they'll have a very enjoyable day at the golf course. The golf course was designed for players of all, all ability levels, so everybody can enjoy it. Uh, you don't have to be a power player, you don't have to necessarily be a dead straight player, uh, you don't have to hit it high, you don't have to hit it low. Play, uh, players with all different types of games can, can get around this golf course. And uh, also a good uh, thought, thought process would be helpful, how, how you plan to attack the golf course. So it will never get boring. Um, you know, members can play it day after day, week after week, year after year, and never get bored. A course you can come and play every week, a course you'll never get tired of. That's the Mirasaki Country Club Sumire course.